A lot of Longhorn fans were upset with the passing game versus Wyoming, even though the running game looked pretty looked really good. And then Jonathan Brooks found his groove, and Texas was able to uh, dominate that game late with uh, the running game really being the focus and really being the kind of the identity. And Jay Brooks, <laughs> by the way, uh, he really was the uh, kind of the lifeblood of the entire offense during that game. But the passing game struggled. Sark admitted it struggled. Here's Steve Sarkeesian talking about the uh, passing game versus Wyoming. I think just every aspect of the passing game needs to improve. You know, it just we felt like we just weren't we weren't as sharp. You know, we had a protection breakdown in there. Um, didn't have the best play calls predicated on what the coverages were. I think Quinn could have could have probably made a couple throws that he normally would make. So everybody kind of took their turn. And that's again, that's not to make excuses. We all have to be better. And and that you know again, you think passing game, you think play call, and you think quarterback. And most notably, you, both of us need to be better. Um, but I think everybody else needs to be better as well. And so we all got to take responsibility uh, of that. Uh, and we're going to need our passing game as we know. And so, again, I'm not going to let one game kind of knock me off my rocker on this one. Um, we were really good throwing the ball for two weeks, especially in week two. Um, it wasn't as clean as we wanted to. The lucky part for us, we have a run game that we can lean in on, a defense that can we can count on in special teams. Um, but we'll, we'll get that fixed, and, and we'll go out and, and play much better in the passing game this week. Uh, I think he's right, number one, because uh, Baylor, I think he's prepared for Baylor. It, based on the pressure packages and the different challenges that Baylor presented to Texas last season, there's no question when a team sacks your quarterback five times, <laughs> uh, you probably go back and look at that film and you study it and try to figure out exactly what happened. And a lot of those concepts, other teams have adopted versus Texas too. So I do think coming off the Wyoming game, disappointing passing game, and then going into the Baylor game where Dave Aranda, as I have said numerous times, had probably the best and most effective, uh, you know, uh, pressure packages versus Texas in 2022, or or at least group of pressure packages uh, versus Texas in 2022. Um, I think he, you know, I, I think Sark will be ready, or at least the offensive game plan will be a, a sharp, detailed one uh, in this matchup versus Baylor. Yeah, and Baylor hadn't been very good in any phase of their team this Not year, really, right? No. I mean, they're they're if you look at the Big Twelve stats through three weeks, we know they're one and two. They lost to Texas State. They lost to Utah. Uh, they're down at uh, gosh, ten or eleven in in total offense. They're down at ten in total defense, and that just uh, there's not much to look at as far as what they hang their hat on. And that's why folks in Waco are wondering about Dave Aranda. Has you know did he win that Big Twelve championship with? Matt Rule players, right? Yes, and now he hasn't replaced them. Uh, those guys are a lot of those are off to the National Football League, and his quarterback Blake Shapin is hurt, and he just hasn't restocked the cupboard. It doesn't feel like right now. And you know they were they were playing Long Island University out of the FCS level on Saturday, and they were up. It was sixteen to seven at the half. I mean, and they won. They end up winning thirty to seven. But I mean, that's that. This is not a a, a really good football team right now. Uh, this is a, an opportunity for Texas to to go in there and and start Big Twelve Conference play with a win and, and take advantage of a wounded team. Yep, there's no doubt about it. And uh, I totally agree with you there because uh, Baylor just doesn't seem to have the talent level <laughs> uh, to be able to play with <clears throat> to play with the Texas. They really play with a lot of teams in the Big Twelve. And I I, I like Dave Aranda's you know disposition as a coach uh, and I like some of the things that he emphasizes and reflects on as a coach but there's no question now uh, the your records <laughs> you are what your record says you are yeah his record says he won with Matt Rules players and when he got his guys in there that that program has regressed yes no question uh, let's get to some more uh, Sark sound before uh, we're done here on Bur behind the burn orange curtain let's talk about the slow starts uh, Sark of course was asked about the slow starts we've talked about the clutch gene that this team is developing scored 21 points in the fourth quarter versus Bama and versus Wyoming uh, what was it 21 in the third quarter versus uh, Rice I believe so second and half they've been a lot uh, better at adjusting in these games here's Sark talking about the slow starts uh, that have plagued them early some of it is we just haven't finished some drives you know we've had pretty good drives early in the games um, and we've gotten ourselves into the red area and we haven't we haven't finished those drives you know I mean most notably I mean you think about the Alabama game we, we were moving it we just weren't we weren't punching it in the end zone and so finishing those drives I think is important um 
you know, the other night that that second drive was a 90 yard drive that it just took us a while. <laughs> I think that's the part that sometimes frustrates us too. Cause we're so used to kind of getting yards and chunks and, and punching it in that sometimes when you have to be a little bit more methodical, there's nothing wrong with that. We shouldn't feel disappointed going 90 yards and scoring a touchdown. But in the end it's, it's owning the openers and owning our game plan. And, um, you know, Again, we have a veteran team that really tries to do what we ask of them to do on the offensive side of the ball. And, again, we've placed a lot of emphasis on finishing in the fourth quarter and making adjustments. i got to make sure we, we don't – got to swing that pendulum back a little bit of owning these openers and, and starting the way we're capable of starting. Yeah, I think he's – and he's admitting it there a little bit. Uh, I mean, honestly, the, the team was just so focused on the second half and the fourth quarter – it's possible that Sark has not been as detailed in his preparation and game planning offensively that he has been in recent years. I don't know what the adjustment is. I would love to he to hear him methodically break it down, what the new process is for him in his second half and in the fourth quarter. But it's clear there's been a change uh, in the way this team performs in the second half, the way they the coaches adjust uh, in games, a chess match within the game, and their response to adversity in the fourth quarter. So I'd love to see if, if there's something now in the process that's shifted that now maybe they could uh, essentially recreate <laughs> or, yeah. or, or at least get back to where their opening script was also a strength for the team too. And you can start how you're finishing these games as well, and you can bookend it, and then you're talking about cooking with some hot grease at yeah. that point. Yeah, and I saw yesterday where Craig Bowl, the head coach at Wyoming, in his you know aftermath re recap yesterday, said the game plan for his team at Wyoming with ten defensive returning starters was centered around not putting their secondary in precarious situations where they were going to be locked in one on ones with the Texas receivers, and they were he said quote we were going to make them go the long hard way, and not give up explosive mm -hmm. plays. He also said he's never seen anyone as fast as Xavier Worthy. On make, a football field, <laughs> make them go the long, hard way. Yes, yeah, uh, and that that's will what probably she said. Be, that will exactly <laughs> that will probably be Baylor's plan. <laughs>